Rock and Fat here. Hi, <laughs> guys. It's another rocking day in the jungle. Well, it is uh, Monday afternoon. Uh, yeah, I guess it's Monday afternoon, Monday evening, or whatever. I've got some buddies to come over and help me get this four million pound hood off. Uh, I'm going to clean it up under here and do some painting on the inside so that when the hood opens, it looks good. But check out what I found today. Uh, you know. You sell stage one and you end up going to stage two, but I will not go to stage three. So what I found was, uh, I took this fender well out because I decided that I could do a much better job with the fender wells out of the car and everything. And I didn't notice over here when I took this one bolt out. I didn't notice it until I got to the other side. And what I have found is there is a fender on top of the fender. So this is like a skin screwed on to the fender that's right here. And if I come around here, you can see the fender and then the fender. And right in here, I should have a hole. Well, I shouldn't have a hole. I should have a bolt right there. And this is the fender, and this is the inner fender. So I wanna take this inner fender out, and I can't get to the bolt because it's got a fender on top of the fender. And no, we're not talking about the six string fender. We're talking about the car fender. So what I'm going to have to do to fix this is I'm just going to have to go ahead and uh, get my little saw and saw it right down that line right there and saw it off so that I can take this inner fender out because I do plan on taking this inner fender out. You don't even try to talk me out of it. It's coming out. Uh, I can do a much better job of painting the inner fender. It's not so much the frame but getting that cleaned up where I can paint it and make it look nice is a whole lot easier with it out here. And of course, there's always the stuff that's in there that is a good thing that we're taking it apart and everything. So, yep, that's what we're doing. A uh, little test painting. Not in love with all this, but it'll, it'll work itself out. I'm sure it'll come out looking real nice. All right, guys, well, we're going on three minutes, and that's probably about a minute and a half longer than everybody watches. Here, I'll bring it down. We'll let, make this a few minutes longer here. You are gonna have to hang on while I kinda do what I gotta do to make it the do, do, do. I'll show you how clean I got it under the hood. Probably gonna go out one more time for another pressure washing. Sure do like my lift. Lift I use every day, it's a 7, 000, I mean an 11,000 pound lift. So I can pick up big heavy cars and trucks. Alright, so I've been cleaning up under here. Uh, I know it doesn't look at all that great right now when I got wires and everything hanging all over the place. But this vacuum harness stays here, but the AC box is cleaning up really nice. Uh, just needs to be cleaned get bound in this corner and up in here and get it clean uh one of the reasons why i had to take the hood off i mean the yeah take the hood off was because the hood hinges mount to the inner fender wells and i had to take the hood off to take the inner fenders out but yeah the firewall it's coming out it's going to look nice i've got the uh windshield wiper motor out of there i've got the cowl off the wipers off we're going to paint all up in that zone and everything and when I get this inner fender out we'll be able to paint back there in that corner and everything I'm not going to be painting that uh, AC box that's the natural color it's supposed to be but once all that or along that line right there is painted black uh, all that's going to look really nice and we can clean those hoses up a little bit it looks like somebody's replaced those hoses uh, they all look in fairly good shape they're just a little crud on them uh, I'll be able to clean that up a little bit I'm not worried about that so anyway, guys, there you go. A little early week update on the 1967 Cadillac Calais. Getting a, I don't know, what are you going to call the paint job? A whore bath? 